children and screens are probably my deepest area of expertise. Yeah, I work with y'all on a lot of other stuff, but the thing that I did my PhD in, the thing that I received awards for, the thing that I am most published on, the thing that the vast majority of my research has been focused on, kids and screens, media literacy, how do you create screen positive cultures? What do you do when your kid melts down every time they get off a screen? How do you know what's appropriate, what's not appropriate? What's too much screen time? What's the cultural aspect of this? How has this evolved over time? Okay, here's the thing. You know what your kids need more than anything? You to be well regulated. I'm sorry, it's true. And so if you're putting your kid on a screen um, so that you can get a second to regulate yourself, call your friend, cook dinner, just like breathe, gather yourself, that, that matters. Look, uh, you know, I do screen free months with my kids every, you know, one or two, sometimes three times a year and they're great and not everybody can do that. And it's not even the best thing for each individual family. And so if you are using screens to get your own needs met, I just want to tell you that's okay. In fact, that's probably benefiting your children. Yes, there are absolutely situations in which Children cannot tolerate the transition off of the screen. Um, children are viewing things that are not appropriate. Children are spending hours and hours on a screen. I wanna work on that with you. And I also want you to know that we don't need to shame each other or cut down communication or not talk to each other just because somebody is using more screens than you. You don't know what's going on in their life. Maybe actually for them to be the best parent they need, they need their kids to have a movie afternoon, right? And our kids need to see us tolerate differences. They need to see us like navigate nuanced situations. They need to see us have positive relationships with screens. They need to see us reevaluate our relationships to screens and make changes in our lives. They need to see us mess up and practice and get together and understand that not everybody's situation is the same as ours. So I'm all about screen positivity. And what that means to me as a screen positive mama is that my children get the support that they need in order to get on and off of screens. They learn creative things about screens. They know how to produce media on screens. Um, ideally, I mean, I would love to be able to co-watch and co-play and co-game everything with my kids, but sometimes I need to use screens in order to make dinner because I need to be able to hear myself think for a second. And you know what? That's really important for my kids too, because what that means is that when we actually do sit down together, they're getting a super regulated, kind, present mom. And my kids just got home. So... Make sure you're following. Let's talk some more about kids and screens later tonight.